Hey, welcome back to the Engineer Channel. Today I'm going to tell you about my motorcycle and what I did to get rid of garage slash street rash on my bike. I bet you're wondering the same thing and that's why you're here. Come on back and I'll show you. So this is my 2003 Honda Silverwing. You've seen it on the channel before. When I picked this bike up, the former owner of this bike was a smaller lady and uh, when she'd stop at traffic lights, sometimes she'd have a hard time with it and she dropped it a couple of times. And when you drop one of these silver wings, what it does is it this part of the fairing here, the front plastics all along this edge here, hit the ground first. Um, and so consequently, there were scratch marks here, abrasions if you will, in this paint. Now this, this bike has a candy red paint job, which is really hard to match, really hard to do. It's a several stage um, process paint job, so it's really difficult to match. So besides that, you can get a couple thousand dollars tied up in a paint job real fast. So what's the solution? My solution was just vinyl wrap it. So you can see here what I've done is, is I took this down to actually my, one of my local sign design places and I said, hey, I wanna, I just dropped it off and said, I want these scratches kind of covered up. Make it look cool, your choice, do what you think. And this is what I got. So let me show you a few pictures as we walk around this. Okay, now you can see what they did here is just rolled up to that front edge with the vinyl wrap and then cut that off. But tied it in with the body lines, I think, really nicely. This bike, uh, here's some pictures of it before, was just a big, big red scooter with a big red blank canvas. And so I think this bike lends itself very well to uh, uh, the stripes, like, like the ones that I put on here. So maybe you can use this as an idea to fix yours. Now here's the only drawback to this, okay? It, it isn't perfect. If you get up close, you can see witness marks through the vinyl of the, the scuff marks. So if you don't sand that back where it's perfectly smooth, you're going to see those witness marks from the scratches through the vinyl. But for me, if you're more than two feet away, you won't notice it, I promise you. And so, how much did this cost? Maybe you want to know. You know how much can I get this done for? They charged me. I dropped it off just like this. They'd strap both sides to the headlight and then down to this point here by my foot. $135, way, way cheaper than having this painted and trying to match this paint. So here's an example of the kind of things I'm talking about. This is my Honda Helix. You've seen this on the channel before. This is a 97 model. This bike is 25 years old and it's just got some garage rash on it. It hasn't been crashed, but stuff has run into it in the garage over the years and it's just got some hickeys on it. And so this is the kind of thing that I would like to cover up, but again, this is the same kind of paint job. It's one of those candy red paint jobs. It's hard to match. And so this is my next candidate. I'm gonna do that treatment to it. Probably the same kind of stripe colors and come along here and strap this on both sides, across the back maybe, and on the other side. And then maybe a little bit on the front just to give it an accent, but it'll cover up these, these warts on here and make this look better. So. This is a bike that I'm not going to flip, that I'm not going to get rid of. I just want it to look good. Um, and so that's an easy solution. So you might go check out your local vinyl guy. So I hope this helps you kind of get an idea of what you can do if you have a bike that's been dropped, it's been scuffed, and you're like, ah, man, the paint job is so expensive. What can I do? Um, you know, vinyl wrapping is a, is a really inexpensive, um, good solution for you. Another thing this has really done for me is I really bought this bike to resell. So I used the fact that this bike was scratched, that it had been laid down as a bargaining chip to get it at a lower price. So once I get this bike back to where it is now, it's ready to sell. It's all cleaned up, it's polished, it's going to look really good and I should make a nifty little profit on this. So if you're in the flipping business, this is also a good option to increase the value of your vehicle. So I hope I've given you some ideas here today. I hope this helps and I'll see you back next time here on the Engineer Channel.